Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're let's playing Dragon Quest V. In the last episode, we found that, uh, that in Zenith and Tower, that it had a gold orb, and basically what happened was the gold orb, we got it as a child, and, uh, was destroyed by Gemma, so we'll, we've got to go to the Fairy Village to find a new one. But first, we hit Sublonia for a side quest. Yeah, yeah. Basically, Ludman's, uh, Ludman's having some troubles here, and we're gonna, we're here to see what the heck's going on. Maybe help him out for old time's sake, you know what I mean? Oh, he found a jar that blew red when he told Ludman he got all crazy, like. So there's Lillian, the dog. Oh, look at the wolf wolf. Doesn't it remember me? Anyways, let's uh, check out this house first. Ooh, the th hey, it's Flora. Andy, look at that. What's going on, Andy? You're what? You married Flora? Nice job, man. Look at that. I told you Flora would get married. She'd be fine if we didn't marry her, see? Look at that. She's been living happily with Andy ever since. Oh. What's wrong? Yeah, he has, from what I hear around, he's been acting pretty strange, yep. Yeah. Let's go listen to what Master Ludman has to say. We can help him out. Yep, we know it's Master Ludman's house. What's this lady gotta say? Yep. Uh huh. Yep. All right. Let's uh let's go up here. Oh, Ludman, what's up? All right. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll save the stories for later. What's what's happening, Ludman? Okay. There's a small. Small island in the west of the mountain village. There's a shrine in that island with a jar. Need just to see what color the jar is. Okay, that's uh, pretty easy. It glows red. Hurry back. All right, no problem. Yeah, so that's all we have to do is check on a jar. That's gonna be easy, man. Yeah, okay, I heard that. Okay, let's, uh, what's going on? Oh. When I, uh, a creature most vile will return? No problem. Everyone keeps telling me to help them out. I'm gonna help them out. Anyways, if you want to look at the book. Rudolph, huh? Sealed an evil spirit inside that jar. So massive that it reached the highest clouds. Uh-oh. This does not sound good. He only sealed it for a century, so it's been a hundred years. Oh man. Uh oh. Oh boy. Rudolph left us this pretty hefty task to deal with. So now you don't have to, well, you can go look at the jar, right? You can look at the jar if you want, which we are going to do, but you don't have to do this right away. I think I'm going to level up like a few more levels, like maybe the 34, 35 with, our, with my kids, because this is basically going to be the party that I take over there, because, uh, you know, this big bad monster... If you haven't guessed, he's probably going to get released here. And he's probably going to... Oh, here's some new enemies. Dentosaurs. He's probably going to cause a big boom-boom on everyone. You know what I mean? I really like the spell zap. And blizzard. Both very good spells. I enjoy them both. Anyways. Yeah. This monster... It's pretty tough, so I want to make sure I have just the right spells and stuff. 
I might even be able to take him on now. Uh oh. The jar is red. This is not good. Not good at all. So what we have to do is report back to Master Ludman. Oh, here's some new enemies, Mamu. They're not like the great Mamu, but they are Mamus. A Mamu. And these aren't enemies uh, go down rather easily. To our spells. We are a powerful family. Who can kick ass, take names, and all that jazz. So basically, I think we've looked at all the... All the... Oh look, now Kabachi's on the list of towns to return to. Anyways, we looked at uh, most of the... All the, um... All the uh, towns we have to look at. So now we can just continue with the story. He's been waiting for us at the Tower of Viewing. Alright, so if you want to fight that monster, then we'll head to the Tower of Viewing. But we're not. Because, um... Like I said, I'm going to level up a bit. But let's talk to some people. Yes, I have heard the tale. Whoops. Oh, now that guy's sleeping, huh? Uh... I got a wifey. Listen, the Dark Lord, I'm pretty sure he's not going to do a thing. He's just hanging out at his place, you know... Just kicking back, relaxing. You know, the Dark Lord doesn't plan on doing jack squat. Not while my son and me are around. Yo, you're a terrible guard guy. Anyways, that's basically all we can do here. I think Ludman... He said he was gonna be at the... The... Tower viewing, so he's, I don't think he's here. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see, is there anything else we can show you? Yeah, because this monster, not only is he large, but he's got tons and tons of HP, and it's probably going to take one whole episode just to fight him, because he's a ginormous creature. But here's what we're going to do. Why not? How come it's light all of a sudden? Ah, oh, well. Anyways, this is what happens. Yeah, the jar's red. Basically, this is what's going to happen. And sealed it inside a sacred jar. And now the seal is weakened and he's coming back. And he wants to get you, Ludman. After he kills you, he's going to destroy Sabonia. Now... I'll watch while you're gone. No, oh, what's this? Oh boy. The monster's awake and here he comes. Aw oh, crap. Oh boy. Uh oh. Here he comes. Whoa wee. That was a hell of a good nap. Wow, where's Rudolph's nowhere to be found? Hey, don't call us chicken wusses. We'll have to fight this Bjorn in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913 saying see you later.